It's cool. Either way, it's cool. We're going to move on. Though. So I think AW stumbled. Because we said we love AW. We like his booking at times. But we have said that Tony has fucked up booking a lot. Just for you standing out there, I think we stand. I think they stumbled across gold. Because I don't know what the attendance on Adam and MJF were. I think maybe it was one of those WWE things when you got two guys about to go against each other, you just make them tag team for no reason. 100% that's what it was. And then <laughs> it's fucking gold. Like the humor is hilarious. The skits are hilarious. Them together just looks amazing. Like I'm just like, shit, why wouldn't, why wasn't he, why wasn't MJF in Bullet Club? Because this is amazing. I mean, I don't think MJF has ever missed. I think, well, you could say Tony's missed with the, what was, what, what was the name of their stable? That didn't work out well. Besides that, if MJF. Pinnacle? Pinnacle was like. It was okay, but it could have been so much more. You have oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. The, the split didn't go correctly with that. I forgot. I think injuries kind of fucked them too a little bit. But we don't get into the pinnacle. And they wanted Warlow to be something, which they let him be something, and then they killed him. Which makes yeah, exactly. Well, at one point, I'm gonna do like a. I think that might be my next series. Go, go, stay, go, go, stable by stable. See what was wrong, what was right, why I broke up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I might do that. I like because okay, I always. That like, sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I've always liked stables, and that just popped in my head just now, just because of that. But ignoring that, I mean, yeah, basically, don't miss. But again, we could say he's he, he's had the pleasure of working with some people, Jericho, all these, you know, John Moxley. It's not like he's ever worked with any scrubs and had to bring them up. Not yet. Hopefully that's coming soon. But the man don't miss. Put him with some of the best. And Adam Cole, let's not forget, is one of the best. Maybe he came, we could always say, you know, he came to WWE too a little late. He was in NXT too long. But let's not. This this man, we know he could work. We, his only problem has always been he's too small for Vince, basically. Yeah. He could talk. He could go. We've always known that. And we've seen him work with people who kind of piss him off before. We've seen him when he, the type of time he's went heel. But this, I will say, it's, it's pretty different. It's pretty special. Because MJF is just giving it his all. And boy, oh boy, is Adam Cole. Even the shirt is fire. Yeah, I mean, that, that that first time, though, when they first came out, and you see MJF just waiting. And you could see Adam Cole's like, there's, there's, you could see him just looking like, is he copying? Is he doing my thing? And he's trying to, is he trying to make it an us thing? I'm like, no, it's my thing. And you can see it. It's hilarious. It's, yeah, the, show, the shirt's dope. But, man. Yeah, I'll, again, AEW doesn't seem to have that problem yet. But, again, it's just, it's, it's, it's how wrestling is. This, But this breakup, uh, unlike the other breakup, I have, I mean, because, again, we know they're supposed to fight anyway. So, it, it, it works. This breakup is going to be great. But the ride until we get there, oh, boy. It's hard. Right. It is I have two questions about that. One, okay. one. Do you think they should they should win the tag teams? I don't think so. I feel like that would be so amazing if they do, though. It'd be so, so, I mean, because if be they so, do, be so, beautiful, break, be so beautiful. Then the breakups gonna have to be like Kenny Omega and like and uh, Hangman. It's gonna have to be like drawn out and them far like them finally you show wow now i'm gonna book this because you said it so what it's gonna be is like okay so they get the belts and it's gonna be like okay well we don't like each other but now we got the belts and the belts as we know especially with someone like mjf belts is all that matter so now we're gonna really for i mean mjf's already given his all but he's gonna start, sit down like a guild i know you don't like me blah 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 whatever but we have gold let's hold on to this and they're gonna hold on to it every time every time something a little little problem here a little problem here mjf bother adam cole it doesn't matter they have a great match they win it papers over the cracks until they lose in a probably like a non they don't lose the belts they lose a match and it's like hey all the problems that we were papering over the cracks they come back up they come back up and then they lose the belts and then they break up and we have that payoff fight that'd be great but that's gonna take at least I mean, again, we got a lot of shows now, but obviously we, we can talk about what is, is collision a standalone, blah, 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 blah. Right. But I, that's that's a, that's a three, four, one storyline minimum right there. So so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask my second question. But okay. to piggyback on what you said, but that's cool because AEW does make great stories. It's just when people are champions, they suck. The chase, the chase and the stories are always great. But once they get it, it's just what the hell is happening. Yeah, that's true. Like, like Tony Storm. What's happening? MJF. But because originally that was a, a um what you call it? That was only we only saw that really on the women's side. But I'm trying to think about it. That's because we already didn't see on the men's side is who was the champions at the time. Jericho, Mox, those dudes don't have that. They didn't have that problem so much. It was everyone after Mox. It's like I, well, everyone after Kenny Omega. Well, no, even though Kenny Omega's run too. It's like 
well, you got the belt. Now what? So like, like MJF, he's been amazing, but what has he really done? When we talk about this, we're not talking about the belt. We're not talking about the title. So yeah, that's still a problem. Yeah. So the question of that, because I believe even if it is drawn out, it's still going to be great. So before I ask my question, this is the question. Could you see MJF as a face? Uh, I talked about this when we very briefly did like the four pillars video. I think he can, but if you go, if the four pillars is a real thing, if that is like the backbone of this company forever, I I stand on. I think Jungle Boy should never go heel. Well, he did. MJF never go. I, I, I don't. I'm saying I'm, that's all. That's all I'm about to finish with. And MJF should never go babyface. But since they already said fuck my first one, might as well say well, let's let's give it a try because. Again, I thought that's what the plan was. And then you had Hook kind of like a semi-pillar, and he was a tweener, so it worked. But now I have no idea what they're doing as far as pillars go. So, hey, give it a shot. Yeah. Why not? Because yeah, Br- Britt isn't even really mentioned. Um, okay, so this is the question. To go along with what we're saying, you, with your book, which uh, I agree with, could we do a double turn? The reason why they break up is because Adam... Flips on MJF, a la heel, MJF face. Because you expect MJF to do it. Right. So would that work out better or not make sense? No, I like that. It's probably the best way to do it because, I mean, we, we can talk about the talents of MJF and all that, but it's, people, people naturally don't like when... Cause, I'm one of those people who gave Randy Orton, Randy Orton, Randy a hard time when he went babyface, but it wasn't just because it was bad. I mean, it was not good, <laughs> but but it was also I mean, like who asked for this? Yeah, you got a good thing, keep it going. But again, they are. I don't think people hate the bad boy uh, Jungle Boy. People, I don't think people hate that. I, I hate mean, it. I mean, <laughs> it's not, to me, it's just not believable. Like that's all it is. I feel like he's not trying. That's all it is. Like what I mean, I feel like he's trying too hard. You know what's funny? That's what it I is. was. I was thinking about this the other day, um, because you know I had the me and me and uh, CL at the same time we got we had got the subscription box, and one of the things that I got in it was a signed Anna J poster, and when it got signed, it was when she was faced. But by the time I got it, it was, she was a heel, and I was like, and I was like, hey, now that I think about it, if how how is it possible they made that work, and literally they, these two people are dating, they're similar characters, they're both like supposed to be as good each other gets. And then Jay's turn seemingly has went semi good. Like as far as the things that went wrong is not the turn itself; it's all the, the surrounding parts. Why is she in this stable? Blah 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 mm-hmm. blah. Why? How is it literally? And you went on the other side of it. They couldn't make it work for Jumbo Boy, at least in my eyes, your eyes. But again, I don't think generally speaking, like everyone hates it. I know I don't like it. I know you hate it, but I don't think everyone hates it. So I'm again, as far as demographics go, if it didn't fail there, I don't see why they wouldn't try to keep the titles on this. But you got again, you got to do it right. So I think your way of doing it is probably the best way. But again, if they not if they don't do it your way, they got to make it a good way. And again, we got to remember MJF does hold the belt. So if he gets turned, he got to still look pretty strong because then we're going to talk about the prestige. This belt means nothing again. So put in the comments what y'all think. But since we landed on this, we're gonna we're gonna stay on it. 